Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. Uh, we talk about Blu-rays here. My name's Brian. And um, I know everybody's posting these videos, but um, I still got a few things from the Criterion sale that's happening right now. Barnes & Noble uh, and Amazon, by the way, are price matching. Um, if you're interested uh, in half-off Criterions, and who's not? Because... They've been doing some great stuff this year, so there was a lot to catch up on. And so um, for this round, uh, I got five. I, I don't know how many more I'm going to get. We'll, we'll see. But um, let me start with the 4Ks. I picked up Double Indemnity 4K. Very exciting to have this in the Criterion Collection uh, on 4K, and I'm hearing good things about it. Um, you know, just one of the classic film noirs ever made uh directed uh by the great uh billy wilder screenplay by wilder and raymond chandler based on the novel by james m Cain. lots of heavyweights in that those couple sentences there uh you know insurance guy gets sucked into a scam or whatever uh to kill the husband of one of the quintessential femme fatales in Barbara Stanwyck, who is incredible in this, and they have some really um, hot and saucy dialogue between each other uh, that is wonderful. And the dialogue in general is great. And so is Edward G. Robinson in this as uh, the guy who works at the insurance company where um, where uh, Fred McMurray works, and we can see that he has instincts about bad insurance claims and that uh this may be an issue anyway so uh looking here you have a new 4k digital restoration with uncompressed binaural audio uh, soundtrack 4k uhd disc presented in dolby vision hdr and uh two blu-rays with the film and special features audio commentary uh on the film featuring critic Richard Schickel, new interview with film scholar Noah Eisenberg, editor of Billy Wilder on assignment, uh, new conversation between film historians Eddie Muller and Imogen Sarah Smith, two heavyweights in noir that I love. Billy, How Did You Do It? A 1992 film by Volker Schlondorf and Gisela Grishow featuring interviews with director Billy Wilder. Shadows of Suspense, the 2006 documentary on the making of Double Indemnity and a radio app, two radio adaptations from 1945 and 1960, um, plus an essay by critic Angelica uh, Jade Bastian, who is fantastic. So you've got a ton of great stuff in, uh, in this set. Just beautiful, and I cannot wait to dig into it. I I've just gotten these, so I haven't really gotten a chance to dig in yet. Um, so my next 4K was Shaft, Gordon Parks' film from 1971, one of the classic uh, entries in the black exploitation um, cinema genre, if you will. And uh, I've heard this looks good too, although obviously it's a different kind of thing. Uh, it's filmed on a tighter budget, and thus uh, the film itself... Um, isn't going to sparkle the same way a newer film would in 4K, but I know this is going to look great. And it also includes Shaft's big score, which is wonderful. And I've also heard that the extras on this are great. So a new 4K digital restoration with uncompressed mineral soundtrack, alternate uncompressed stereo soundtrack remastered with creative input from Isaac Hayes III. Of course, the soundtrack by Isaac Hayes is one of the uh, real showpieces of this film, the incredible theme song and then the... Wonderful soundtrack throughout uh, is going to sound great on this as well. 4K U UHD disc presented in Dolby HDR and two Blu-rays with the film and special features again. Shaft's big score, the 1972 follow-up. So no Shaft in Africa, but all three have obviously been released on Blu-ray by Warner Archive uh, in the past. So I have those, but um, now I have Shaft's big score here as well. New documentary featuring Curator... curator uh, Rhea L. Combs, uh, film scholar Raquel J. Gates, filmmaker Nelson George, and music scholar uh, Shana L. Redmond. 
Soul and Cinema filming Shaft on location from 1971. Archival interviews with Parks musician Isaac Hayes and actor Richard Roundtree, who is iconic to say the very least as uh, John Shaft in this film. Wonderful performance and uh, really kills it. New program on Hayes' score featuring uh, Redmond. Uh, new interview with costume designer Joseph G. Alusi. Al- yes. Uh, new program on the Black Detective featuring scholar Kenohi Nishikawa and novelist Walter Mosley. A Complicated Man, The Shaft Legacy 2019. Uh, plus an essay by film scholar Amy Abugo Angiri. So lots to be enjoyed in this disc here. The 4K edition of Shaft from Criterion. And I got some regular Blu-rays as well. We have uh, The Girl Can't Help It, Frank Tashlin's film. This from 1956. Uh, Frank Tashlin, a very enjoyable filmmaker from the 50s. Uh, did a lot of work with Martin and Lewis. Um, was influenced by a very cartoon aesthetic. And uh, has carried that over to this film in a lot of ways in terms of the way that James Mansfield is viewed in the film. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's fascinating. Uh, I know a favorite of, um, John Waters and you see, it's got quite the cast of musical folks, uh, rock and roll stars as they are called here. Little Richard and his band, Fats Domino, Julie London, Gene Vincent, the platters and Eddie Cochran, as well as more. So it's a musical rock and roll musical kind of story. Uh, and one that I'm a fan of. Um, excited to have this on Blu-ray. New High Definition Digital Transfer with Uncompressed Soundtrack. Audio Commentary featuring Toby Miller. New Video Essay uh, by film critic David Cairns. Interview with filmmaker John Waters, of course. New Conversation between WFMU DJs Dave the Spaz Abramson and Gaylord Fields about the music in the film. Uh, new Interview with Eve, Go- <clears throat> Eve Golden author of Jane's Man- Jane Mansfield, The Girl Couldn't Help It. On-set footage, interviews with actor James Manf- Jane Mansfield from 1957, musician Little Richard from 1984, uh, episode of Karina Longworth's podcast, you must remember this, about Jane's Man- Jane Mansfield, part of her Dead Blonde series, I believe. Uh, trailer, English subtitles, essay by critic uh, Rachel Sims, and excerpts from director Frank Tashlin's 1952 book, How to... Create Cartoons with a New Introduction by Ethan DeSeif, uh, author of Tashlin Ask, the Hollywood com- com- Comedies of Frank Tashlin. Um, so very much looking forward to watching that. A nice widescreen, uh, 235 to 1 color transfer. Speaking of color transfers, uh, we have The Tales of Hoffman, Paul and Pressburger's film from uh, this one from 1951. Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger create a phantasmagoric marriage of cinema and opera in this one-of-a-kind take on a classic story. In Jock Offenbach's fantasy opera, The Tales of Hoffman, a poet dreams of three women, a mechanical performing doll, a bejeweled siren, and the consumptive daughter of a famous composer, all of whom break his heart in different ways. Powell and Pressburger's feverishly romantic adaptation is a feast of music, dance, and visual effects, one of the most exhilarating opera films ever produced. I'll be honest, the opera side of this often kept me away, but that's silly because I love Paul and Pressburger, and two of this film's biggest proponents are featured on this disc, and they are Martin Scorsese, of course, and George Romero, uh, who I know is gigantically in- infatuated with this movie, and part of the reason I bought the DVD, but unfortunately have not yet seen the film. Uh, so this is one I've been waiting to watch forever. Definitely a director blind spot for me and something that I can maybe use on a episode of Pure Cinema if we continue this director blind spot series. Um, 4K digital restoration by the Film Foundation, the BFI National Archive in association with Studio Canal, featuring newly rediscovered footage with uncompressed monorail soundtrack, audio commentary from 1992 by filmmaker Martin Scorsese and film critic Bruce Eder, newly updated by Eder, Interview with filmmaker George A. Romero from 2005, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, 1956, a short musical film based on the Johann Wolfgang von Guth 
Story and directed by Michael Powell. Very exciting to have that there. Collection of production designer uh, Hein Heckroth's design sketches and paintings. Gallery of production and publicity stills. Essay by film historian Ian Christie. So very happy to have a Criterion Blu-ray of Tales of Hoffman to go with my other Criterion and other Blu-rays of the Powell and Pressburger films. I'm a big fan of their work. So it's, again, silly that I haven't seen this. And so I'm very glad to correct that in the near future. Um, and then lastly, we have Wayne Wang's Chan, Chan is Missing. And this one, uh, I want to say, is his debut feature. A uh, mystery man, a murder, and a wad of missing cash. In his Riley offbeat breakthrough, Wayne Wang updates the ingredients of classic film noir for the streets of San Francisco's Chinatown circa 1980 when their business partner disappears with the money they had planned to use for a cab license. Driver Joe, uh, Wood Moy, and his nephew Steve, Mark Hayashi, scour the city back, city's back alleys, waterfronts, and Chinese restaurants to track him down. But what begins as a search for a missing man gradually turns into a far deeper and more elusive investigation into the complexities and contradictions of Chinese-American identity. The first feature by an Asian-American filmmaker to play wild, widely and get mainstream critical appreciation, uh, Chan is Missing, is continuously fresh and a surprising landmark Indian invention uh, that plays... Uh, I can't quite read that last part uh, of cinematic stereotypes on their head flips st cinematic stereotypes. Uh, this one is on the criterion channel. If you want to watch it, get a preview of it. I started to watch it the other day. I remember this being on VHS at my video store way back in the day. And I can't remember if I got to check it out back then. It seemed familiar, but not fully. So um, when I saw the extra features here, I was like, I think I want to just pick this one up, you know, cause I was digging it. High definition digital, digital transfer approved by director Wayne Wang with uncompressed binaural soundtrack. Is Chan Missing, a making of documentary directed by Debbie Lum. Uh, new conversation between Wayne Wang and critic uh, Hugh, Hugh Hsu and, we, and Wang and filmmaker Ang Lee. Conversation between uh, Wang and film programmer and critic Dennis Lim. New English subtitle translation plus an essay by critic Oliver Wang. So I think I'm just... I have a friend making a movie right now, and this is obviously done on a low budget. I've heard it mentioned, you know, this is from 1982, uh, as, you know, an, an interesting debut feature. And I'm curious, you know, what stories Wayne Wang has to tell about making a low budget first feature at that time, you know, and how that might apply to filmmaking right now. Uh, you know, and it's just this sort of new take on noir uh, from this sort of lens, I think I'm just really into that idea. So anyway, Chan is missing. That's the last of what I've gotten so far. I'm definitely thinking about the, um, 4k of devil in a blue dress. So I'm hoping to get that later in the month and, you know, maybe something else, maybe last walls. I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy on this sale, but there are definitely some things from this year that, uh, have gotten away from me. And there's a lot that criterion is doing. That's great. So I just wanted to touch on a few things that I picked up. Uh, let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorites that you picked up and what else you maybe plan to get uh, throughout the month, which is a nice thing about this sale is you can kind of pick as you go. Grab a few things here, a few there. Um, I have a list of a few more uh, items that I might go for. Virgin Suicides, 4K maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but there's a lot of stuff. And I have some other videos that highlight Criterion releases that I've done in the past that are recommendation videos. I'll link those below in the notes. So check those out too if you're looking for other recommendations that aren't new. Like I have one from last year. I have one from, I want to say the year before. That's not quite that far back. But older stuff, but still great. And I'm not necessarily going to rehash those just to get a new video out there when I've already done it. So definitely check out the uh, videos in the notes below and enjoy. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.